Even with $10 billion in online sales, Walmart still gets cut by Goldman Sachs on fears that it won't be able to handle other e-commerce competitors. Today, it's the subject of our merger talk. So Walmart's on smaller deals to help it up its e-commerce game, but you're seeing some other companies out there like Nordstrom doing a $350 million deal for Trunk Club. It looks like e-commerce is going to be the name of the game for the big box stores. That's right. Right now we're seeing Walmart. Uh, apparently they have plans to make their own changes to improve their e-commerce capabilities. Uh, they're looking to do things like customizing and personalizing shopping experiences, something that has become huge for brick and, mor brick and mortar retailers. And I'm expecting other M&A to be taking place in the space. Here's a good example is Target. Their new CEO, Brian Cornell, came in last week. The company referred to its online sales as, quote, immaterial in a recent federal filing that's from 2013. Walmart, on the other hand, has $10 billion in online sales alone a year. Yeah, and we've already seen a number of traditional brick and mortar stores buy into e-commerce via acquisitions this year so far. Just last week, we saw FTD Companies, a retailer of floral arrangements and gifting. Uh, they bought Liberty Interactive's floral and e-commerce business for more than $400 million. Uh, we also saw uh, Kroger earlier in July buy Vita Vitacost, uh, improving their, or buying into the vitamins and nutrition, nutritional products e-commerce space. That's right, and I'm seeing a lot more other funding activity going on in the space. There's One King's Lane, Living Socials. There's a lot of companies that have picked up tons of funding to go after $260 billion in e-commerce. That's a humongous target to be hitting. And if Target doesn't hit that target, look for Walmart to go after it, or look for Amazon with all of its personalized offerings.